God has come to Earth and its name is Gintama episode 304. Holy... Look, I'm not even going to sit here and tell you how, mate, how... No. Words cannot fracking describe that episode. My God, I found myself welling up a lot during the episode, how it just... I'm not even doing it right now, but... <laughs> Get your emotions back in. But... The episode, the episode was a goddamn masterpiece. Like even though the masterpiece is under statement of the century, that episode basically showed how much the characters have come from the start to where they are now, and it did it so freaking damn well. I was just like, I've never seen this in a show in anime before. I mean, it took him. I don't even know how many fragment episodes in freaking One Piece to get to freaking Don Flamingo's fight. It took him. I, I can't. I, I can't even sit here and even give a review of my thoughts on this episode because it was so freaking damn amazing. Every single character, every single main character really, because I think everyone else is still fine outside so we're not getting much content with them. So, yeah, the main characters, you've got Shinpachi, you've got Kintoki, you've got Kagura, you've got Kamui, you've got Takasugi. You've got context on all four, six of them. You've got context on all of them. Freaking damn hell. I mean... I felt myself welling up with the first bit when the when the Shogun appeared and basically grabbed Saratobi and Zenzo. I was just like, we finally met. I was like, oh my heart, just broken in two. I mean, I guess if it is this Shogun, that's that plot point still confuses me. But yeah, him, that guy. But my God, it was my heart broken too when that happened. I was just like, oh damn, and it just started crying. I was just like, no emotions. I don't need you today. I've had a long day. I don't need you. But no, everything about this goddamn episode, it was just, I just, I'm, no, animation, if I could, if I could deal Leo with you with the animation, holy Jesus Christ, I mean, I've sat, I've sat through shown animation before and I've seen some beautiful things in my time, but holy Jesus Christ, I took the freaking cake, I mean, every single goddamn frame of that, of that episode was freaking top notch. Every single frame was just like, it was fluid. It was amazing. Not one single scene looked out of place. It looked all amazing. The soundtrack was phenomenal. It really helped the scene. And the ending and the opening. Opening is by far my second favorite of the series so far. First told me opening two, that's my favorite. Opening four, just, it, it was freaking great. And then the ending, it just when it showed everyone else from child to where they are now, it just shows you how much they've come and how far they've come from when they are before. And it just hits home what the message is about this episode, and I think basically the, the assassination arc as a whole, how far characters have come from when they are. And when Kagura was basically saying, this is my birthplace, I'm Kagura born here, I was just like, my god. Tears, man. Tears. I could say. How every single shun animation I've ever watched in my goddamn lifetime. I've watched. I'm, I'm 19 years old, and I've seen some few. Gintama is still the best. There's just no better. The storyline, the overarching storyline, the characters. Nothing is bad. There's just not one single flaw I can find one episode. It's goddamn serious. It's so freaking. Ah oh, man, how oh, just. I think this episode taken back from this episode. I'd say everyone's gone a little bit nuts. Like everyone's gone a little bit nuts. I like. I just when I saw Gintoke just fall down, I was like, no, 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 and in the previous said, I'm, I'm Gintoke, and I was just like, yes, he's alive, he's alive, and my, my heart will not be broken next week, but yeah, it took him 39 weeks, it took him, it wasn't even my birthday, it happened, but thank God Gintama gave me the greatest New Year present of my life, it gave me the, it gave me the one episode I was looking forward to, and it did it so freaking damn well, I can honestly say to you, if you're not watching this goddamn series, what are the F you doing with yourself right now? If you're watching this episode, just go freaking down, watch it again. Just watch it a fourth time, just watch it through a seventh time. Not one time would ever get born. The pacing was so freaking great. The animation was bloody brilliant. Like I haven't seen I haven't seen animation in a shown anime like that since I don't even know. The Grimjow fight fighting bleach, and even that was a bit weird. But yeah. I just now I'm just sitting here wondering why can't shown animation do this all the time? Why isn't all shown animation like this? We could have it showed you the past, it showed you flashbacks, but it showed you in a way that it wasn't boring. It wasn't monotonous, just you, you weren't sitting there waiting to get to the fight. You were getting context on who they were and how they've come and when they were once friends and where they are now and how their paths have come basically full circle. It's just showing you. 
I mean, Naruto took him, I don't even know how long to even show a fight, and it's just all past. And also the perspective. I like the perspective, how they did the perspective, and they did it for 16 by 9 I thought that was pretty damn well done, because it did show you, it looked like a past. It didn't do it in the black and white kind of filter and say, oh yeah, this is the past, here you go. No, it showed in a 16 by 9 ratio, and it said, hey, this is the past. I like that, because it basically reminded me of past movies I've watched. They used to do flashbacks like that, and I think it's just damn well how they did it. There was not one single thought I could find on this episode. I'm sitting here just telling you, go down and watch it again if you've watched it already. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much on the verge of falling asleep. I am very tired, but still, that just woke me back up. I mean, like, my soul has been lifted. I have now sold my soul to the Gintama gods, and, I am not, and I'm not concerned. But, with all that said, I have been the driver. If you do want to leave a like, if you do... Leave a like. If you don't leave a sub, do leave a sub. It's something quite a bit. Hope you guys all had a great Christmas and New Year. This is my first review of an anime since like two weeks ago. So, because everyone else got delayed yesterday. So, yeah, my first review. So, with all that said, I have been the driver, and I will see you guys later. Bye for now.